hi guys and welcome back to the channel look what we have here today i am out on the new scrambler 400x for a quick little ride as you guys know i've got a tenere 700 that is uh, that is a big old bike and i'm looking for something a little bit smaller just so i can uh, use it more because the tenere is just uh, standing in the garage and uh, gathering dust because uh, it's a little bit on the high side for me but yeah i've got this bike for a quick little test drive from bulldog triumph if you are interested in uh, good service a really nice shop and uh, all the triumph loveliness that you can consume check out the guys from uh, Bulldog Triumph so uh, look at this little details check at that nice little badge I, I compared this quickly in the shop compared to the 900 scrambler and they look pretty much almost exactly the same size even the engine looks the same size and I was saying to the guy you know um, it really looks like a big bike I'm, I was expecting it to be a small bike like tiny the speed is way way smaller um, in size the handlebars looks a little bit more narrow um, it's a much more compact bike but this is this is spot on for a life at 40 horsepower i would say and uh, this one's got the brown seat on the top really nice big enough size seat if you can see there my hand on the seat but fairly medium to large hands i would say but yeah man really really nice soft seat i think this is an extra seat i love the red this candy apple red is just uh, absolutely gorgeous i'm a red i'm a red guy unfortunately it needs to be red um it's got garua tires on so i can go and uh, ride in south africa if i need to just just kidding this is the UK. I'm not allowed to go off-road. It's against the law. But uh, but yeah, if you want all the specs of the bike, check out the Triumph website. There's all the details on there. Um, it's just a, just a really nice looking bike. Center stand can do with a little bit more tilt to the middle. It's got a big old bump stop there at the bottom. Check that out. Um, really comfortable. I can, I'm five foot 11 about 80 kilograms uh, rider and uh, this bike I can flat foot on both sides what a pleasure man what a pleasure the hand guards is hand guards as I was saying to the guys on the forum um, on the Facebook group that um, you know, I just need the hand guards for wind protection to keep it off my gloves that's all yeah the radiator guard really beautiful man really beautiful I like the shocks drift like spoke wheels they will be cool but man the single cylinder sounds just like it triumphs they made this exhaust sound just like a triumph that slow thump boom, 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 boom. Um, also just to come around the one side oh a nice little grab handle at the back as well it's just it's just really nice it looks like a really nice bike man it's just solid everything is solid the pillion pegs nice and soft on there the bottom ones tough. this bike's got 500 miles on so it's pretty much brand new also this uh, speedo i thought it's uh, much smaller dinky but it's not it's like really nice and big and bright um, I'm over 40 so my eyes is going out the window and um, I can actually see everything on there so that's for me boom big big benefit the switch gear hey it's switch gear it it works start it's got the hazards how does that work oh you switch it to the one side hazards come on uh, there's the start button and on this side you've got the the lights the uh, the uh, flasher and um, this is the information where you can do the trip and the stuff there you can press the trip and all that lovely stuff 
Right, uh, where's the... You can set all the stuff. There's the audio, oh, the odometer. And then you've got the indicators. Really nice and soft uh, switch of this. Works really well. And then the horn. Um, nice and smooth. This is right by wire throttle, as far as I understand. But yeah, man. The hand guards, there you can see it's hand guards. People say, oh, if you're going to fall, are you going to break the hand guards? Well, you know, then you can put something nicer on, on there. The mirrors is mirrors. Um, it doesn't vibrate. Um, I haven't been up to motorway speed. But yeah, let's get on the bike and let's get going. Let me just quickly start the bike so you can hear it. Also, you don't have to put in the clutch. So, as I've been doing this well-planned, I might run out of battery, like a fool. But yeah, let's get going. Stand is up. Clutch is nice and uh, short. The gear lever is um, very much down. Um, so, compared to the Tenere, where it's really... Uh, I need to really tilt my ankle up so that it can be so that, so that I can shift where this is uh, where this is not so uh, totally different again it's so nice both feet flat on the ground 511 what what a pleasure and the clutch is nice and soft the throttle throttle is uh, very nice and smooth because it's not um, it's not cable so where's that lady gonna go Whoop, here we go so 40 horsepower you see for me um, it is it is the perfect amount I think I would have liked a little bit more but uh, for the riding that I do, you know, I don't sit on the motorway. I don't go on uh, uh, grand uh, overland trips. I want to be able to use the motorbike to go to work, uh, go back, do my two-hour blast on a uh, weekend, and then uh, it needs to be ready again on uh, Monday to, uh, to take on the world to get to the office and back without being too much of a uh, too much of a bike a uh, big bike saying that but uh, yeah not an awful amount of massive power so super usable power I'm in 6 gear here and it felt like I wasn't 6 gear um, but uh, the suspension is for me really nice softer than the Tenere so it soaks up all the crap UK roads and uh, for me, that's uh, again a benefit. Woo! The clutch is really nice. Um, the rear brakes, yeah, it's all right. This, this stuff hasn't been bed in yet, so uh, I'm not gonna not gonna complain too much about it. Can't really complain about it because it needs to be uh, needs to bed in a little bit more. You can't really say, oh, this is this is that and that's that. It's a nice bike. That's sort of uh, that's sort of that's sort of me. Up to uh, what is it, 50, 50 miles an hour? No problem. And uh, yeah, the wind blast is on my shoulders. It feels like it's just above my uh, sort of my uh, chest, and uh, yeah, but it's it's super comfortable. You know, my arms are relaxed. Um, the seat is nice. My bend in my knee is just under being 90 degrees, 
and uh, the seat is nice and soft and also thin to the front the front brakes is a bit more compared to the Tenere so that's good I can think you know if you if you buy one of these bikes and, and you sort of uh, ride them in and you start um, having some fun you know you need to get comfortable with the bike it takes a bit of time and you get to learn the bike and where the power is and how when you can lean it and so forth and uh, this looks like one of those bikes you know it it can sit in the traffic and it can be on the uh, do it a few junctions to get to your nice back little roads but uh, really cool man super impressed with it again uh, Trump uh, triumph uh, triumph 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 um, easy to ride bike uh, sounds good looks cool got loads of accessories in the catalog that you can add on I could think as soon as these bikes get some uh, traction and more sell of it there's the third party people that's gonna it's gonna have a ball with uh, doing screens and stuff for the for this bike I can just think this is uh, this is how it will be oh beautiful the thing is it sounds like a triumph and that's the thing for a single to have that sound of a uh, of a of just a nice bike it purrs along it's brilliant whoa whoa slow slow maneuvering is good um, as the guys were saying the first gear is short yes it is short it is super short but quick shift first to second Woo! it's good fun man good fun and yeah this thing will be easily easily able to sit on the motorway for a few junctions 70 70 70 75 without any issues yes you're gonna get a wind blast but hey man who cares uh, two things that I would like is uh, heated grips um, it's got the hand guards and maybe a small little deflector screen on the front then I'm pretty much job done the six gear has got it's got nice pull listen if you're a big bloke a uh, massive guy and you're looking for something with power this is probably not going to be for you but if you're looking for just an all-round bike just to be able to get out it looks good you can uh, stop it next to the cafe have a coffee or two and uh, just uh, just enjoy it enjoy the bike and enjoy just the time riding the bike man blips down really nice i like the one finger pull on the on the brake and again one foot up other foot is flat with a slight bend in the knee super comfortable and it and it, it stinks still like a new bike yeah, this first gear is super short. But hey man, I think if you buy a bike like this, it will be short. But hey, this handlebars is nice and wide. So you can really have some uh, really have some fun on it. Yeah. Yes, this bike has got the little um, error message on the screen, and now I was saying to some of the guys as well, yeah, if, if it's got a if it's got a uh, error, they'll probably fix it. Um, they won't left leave an error like like that. But we are living in the software age more and more, where uh, companies would launch something and then they'll uh, uh, do a software update. Six hundred mile service, you'll probably get a software update that sort of fixes all the minor bugs and uh, we could, we're gonna have to get used to this but oh guys super super nice you know I took the scrambler 900 out for like a test drive I had the speed twin as well out really 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 nice bikes but this is just exactly the same you get on the bike you turn it and uh, and then it's and then it's cool man boom <laughs> And I think you can, uh, you can, you can really, it's, you know, it's this usable power that's for me as key. But yeah, guys, drop some comments below if you've got any questions about the bike. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, having a bit more fun on the bike. Where am I now? And then uh, I'm gonna take it back to them and see what they can do for me. See, because the Tenere is still brand new. 
and uh, you know when you pull a bike out of a uh, out of a dealership they probably can't uh, uh, get rid of the finance that easy but yeah it, it, that's the guy's job it's the sales guy but yeah super super impressed with this bike and uh, would love to just ride this bike super easy comfortable to ride super happy but yeah guys if there's any if there's any questions about the bike please let me let me know and i'll try and answer them i'm gonna uh, make some uh, make some uh, mind notes as as a rider so if there's anything about the bike please let me let me let me know and because the handlebars is so uh wide you can really lean the bike i don't want to lean it too much because it's uh Karua tires and it's new so uh yeah i'm just gonna enjoy it so okay guys hope you enjoy this little short little video um and uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe give it a thumbs up if there's questions uh drop it down in the comments below uh, check out my other videos and uh, i'll see you on the next one goodbye ah what a nice feeling i must say uh, i've just uh no i haven't made a lot of uh i wouldn't say mistakes but like uh an error and uh i've bought a few of the triumphs now without test driving the bikes and uh you know if you buy a bmw or triumph or anything like that all the bikes uh has got a base of how it rides and how it feels and um I must say, uh, this is the first bike that Tenere, that is, uh, someone else got me excited about it. And, um, and the thing with that is, is uh, I then went and bought the thing. And uh, I must say, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Tenere. It looks awesome. It, it, it rides like a dream, but it's just too high for me. It's just too high. It's too of a high of a bike, too much bike for me, little uh, uh, 511 rider. Um, I know if you do a lot of off-road riding, then you get used to it, and and and, and I do agree with that. It's it's uh, I just don't get uh, enough time to uh, get out and uh, spend on the on uh, on learning how to ride off-road. Um, you need to do it a lot, and I don't get time to do that. Uh, but I do get time to get out in between the rain and the uh, and the bad weather that we've been having here in the UK to go and ride my motorbike, and uh, it just never felt like a comfortable bike. And uh, I think it's just because it's too high. Uh, I think this this seat height is 830. Um, again, I'll I'll link something in in there and that is uh that's high enough for me and uh i must say anything um higher than that for me personally to just have fun on the bike it's 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 too high and then a lot of people were saying that uh that the tenere was top heavy and i was like nah it's probably not that top heavy but yeah since you own it um and you ride around with it more and more you find out that yes the bike is top heavy and in a sort of a big in a big way and again for taller riders uh, uh larger riders that's stronger not as uh, light like a four uh, four fights as me then um uh, then it's no problem but uh, yeah I, I you know if you don't if you don't practice riding a bike or riding your bike then um, you get out of practice and then it becomes a bit of a, a uh, you know I'm getting worried that I'm not um, I'm not uh, ready you know I don't feel comfortable on the bike and then then you uh, then you tend to not ride the bike and you, know, you ride the bike less and less because you don't feel comfortable on the bike but if you get a low bike and uh, it can do a bit of gravel and I think this this thing can do a bit of gravel um, with these tires I'm not going to go off-road riding, but it will probably do that as well. But but yeah, for five thousand five hundred and ninety-five pound, you get quite a nice bike, I would say. I am pretty pretty um, pretty happy with this. Um, I'm actually going to do a bit of a section on the on the 
A33 just to see how it is at um, at 70 miles an hour there's a McLaren P1 behind me holy smoke 1.5 million pounds but yeah they uh, they were saying this bike is uh, made in India but I think all the all the niceties has been uh, kept and uh, they've done a really good job to make sure that the quality of the bike is is right up there and that's for me key oh this sounds beautiful this thing just purrs along Again, this is sort of the riding I do, you know, in the in the little towns, and then I go and find some uh, smaller little uh, road, and I think to myself, yeah, I want to go down here. Oh, there's a gravel trail. Let's go down the gravel trail. Whoops, Daisy. And uh, let's go and see what's happening on the gravel trail. The indicator is at the right height, so you don't have to hunt for it. But yeah, the first gear is, is short. But it's nice to be able to give a handful and not being uh, your arm being pulled off. But yeah, some people like that. I'm at this age now where I just need, I, I just want something to uh, enjoy a bit of fresh air. And uh, I, uh, just, uh, just, just get out and ride, man. That's the main thing. Now with summer or spring coming, I'm going to get out more. And I think this bike will do my uh, round trip to wherever, where is it? Um, to uh, Cheddar Gorge and back without any issues. The seat will probably, uh, my bum will probably get sore, but I've been on the bike now for about 35 40 minutes and it's still fine it's nice in the cushy seat and the osmo action is still uh, working okay i must say the uh, rear view mirrors is nice and round easy to look at and view um, probably get something smaller they oh then don't don't really bug me No, it's just a nice bike. Look at it. It's friendly. It's friendly. That's the thing. Puts a smile on your face. Not a worry. Oh, I'm going to drop this uh, bike because it's too high or I'm going to stop on a farmer's little road and there's going to be uh, there's going to be uh, 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 wet gravel or mud and I'm just going to slip because the bike is too high. It's my only complaint really of the Tenere. I know you can get a, a, a lowering kit and whatever, but it doesn't bring it, um, it's not going to make it as easy to ride as this one. And I want, I want something at this time of my life, I want something a little bit easier. Lighter, cheaper to run, um, but still, uh, it still puts a smile on your face. And I think this one does. Super, super happy. Even the gearing down is nice. So that's now uh, 60. And I must say 70 is pretty much uh, where I'm going to sit. There's a big old push on the, on the chest. But uh, yeah, 70. 
And there's a bit of a buzz through the uh, pegs, but uh, just if you press down a little bit harder, then it's uh, then it's gone. But yeah, very little uh, pressure anyway. And I'm not gonna rag the bike now, so it's not broken in yet. But that's 70. I'm happy with that. And if I open up, there's more. There's more of it. Ah, so super, super simple. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Oh, I like the gearing down. Nice. I must say the suspension is uh, making the ride very comfortable. Okay, well there's some additional notes. I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to take the bike back. And uh, let's see what's happening. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.